I am uh, Imad Absa. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. My special interest is taking care of children with celiac disease. And I'll be talking to you today about a recent report in the Journal of Pediatrics by Strodel, Strodel and his um, colleague using a big uh, birth cohort Norwegian um, database. The study was trying to assess the association between the infant feeding and the risk of developing celiac disease. Before we go over the study, I think we should know what's known about that to start with. The link between the timing of introducing gluten into infants' diet and the risk of developing celiac disease have been addressed before um, through the uh, Sweden um, epidemiologic studies where they found that late introduction of gluten might have been associated with increased risk of celiac disease in infants. There was another cohort from Norris et al. and his group here in U.S. saying that early introduction before four months or late introduction after six months may have been associated with increased risk of celiac disease too. There was little information about the risk of celiac disease and association with feeding after two years and this study was trying to address that, and, uh, that question. The study used a big Norwegian birth cohort that would involve more than 100,000 children. Participants in the study were asked to fill a survey at birth, 6 months and 18 months. And at 6 months they had to answer about the timing of solid food introduction including gluten. And at 18 months they also wanted to know about the breastfeeding. The authors reviewed the data and out of the 100,000, a little bit more than 100,000 patients, they identified 324 patients with celiac disease. And after adjusting for the confounding factors, they tried to assess the risk or the association of food timing of gluten exposure with the developing of celiac disease in these children. The authors reported that they found an increased risk of celiac disease when gluten was introduced after six months of age. They also suggested there might be a mild association with increased risk when breastfeeding was extended beyond 12 months while gluten was introduced. So what does that mean to families with infants with celiac disease? When do you introduce gluten? And what is the timing that is perfect for introducing gluten? From this study and from what we know before, it does seem that there is a window effect during critical time or period where introducing gluten might have been maybe better tolerated by the, by the infant's immune system. And infants can adapt to it and develop tolerance without increased risk of celiac. And this period seems to be between four and six months of age. From what we know about the breastfeeding, the previous studies and the meta-analysis, a big grouping of the studies suggested that breastfeeding while introducing gluten during this time might also have protecting effect or a lower risk of celiac disease. So I would suggest that introducing gluten during, uh, is, should be done between four to six months using the regular baby food and breastfeeding might have protective effect. More information hopefully will be available soon for us through at least two big randomized clinical trials trying to answer the specific questions about what is the right amount and what is the right timing to introduce gluten to infants' diet. Thank you.